Where? <laughs> right on. It took you a second, didn't it? Well, we are know, out here in the public's kitchen with Chef Tony. Mother's Day is just around the corner. And you know what? You know, a little Mother's Day brunch does not have to be complicated. You can say, hey, Mama, you are fat. Well, I mean, oh, like P-H-A-T. -H like awesome. And that's why we are cooking a salad for you. Put oh, assembling. Assembling. Salad. Well, yeah, we're going to. There is a little cooking involved. No, well, there is. Because there's some grilled bread. Okay. Um, and that's going to seem kind of odd other than a crouton. But, you know, I guess the more you think of this, this bread salad could just be, oh, let's just add the croutons to it and mix it together. Well, here's the thing. You want to spend the time with mom. You don't want to be, you know, stuck in the right? kitchen. Well, that's true. Well, the best part for that is, if, you know, the recipe is available on the yeah. website. But if you don't want it to cook that, you can come and do our Mother's Day brunch on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Oh, that's fantastic. Demonstration okay, class. Man. This is our first course. We're going to, we're going to end with Chianti poached pears. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to have Casarici pasta with shrimp. And there's going to be a veal dish in there as well. Very nice. So it's, it's a, a, a four-course brunch that they can come and enjoy. So oh, I wanted to... with the panzanilla salad. I wanted to put this together that way... They knew how it was going to start and then make it at home if you want to for a nice uh, lunch. You come back home from church or whatever you're doing in the morning at the beach. This is a good refreshing salad to have. Or you come spend some time with us and go from there. There so. you go. So it's very colorful. You've got some olives in there, some tomatoes. Right, and we love these, uh, these wild wonder tomatoes. They're like heirloom grape tomatoes that we have in here. Orange, yellow, a um, little bit of a purplish. We have some olives in here, some cured olives. I'm going to take a little mozzarella as well. I'm going to put it in the bowl. Nice. Just like that. Um, some other things that we could put in here. We could put in some pine nuts, too. You can always finish with some of those pine nuts. That, that's that extra touch. That, that really lets mom know, hey. Nothing says love like pine nuts. I love you. That, yeah. Nutty wise. <laughs> so, and then we have a little vinaigrette that we've made with some, uh, some, some thyme, some garlic, Dijon mustard, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, red wine vinegar. Just going to pour a little bit of that in there. Just like that. And the salad portion is really up to you on how much you want to use. I'm going to do, uh, just use a little bit mm -hmm. of lettuce, uh, the mixed greens, but we can make it a bigger salad if you want to. We're just going to take these ingredients that we're going to top it with, and we're going to start to coat those. So they get that wonderful Dijon flavor. We're going to grab our bread here that's been grilled off. We're going to put some of that in here, just like such. And this is really what makes the salad up. Now, when you toasted the bread. that, did you put a little garlic on it? Little, we took it off the grill and hit it with a little bit of garlic, almost like a bruschetta would be. Gotcha. And uh, so oil, salt, pepper on the grill, and then you take it off and you can rub it with some garlic. So we have our bread here. It's all mixed in, got some dressing on it. We'll put it down, kind of around. And this is why you don't need a lot of lettuce, because you've got so many other fine ingredients right, right and, in there. And we're going to reach in here and grab some of this. So it really mm -hmm. is like a bruschetta, just in a salad form. Yeah, well, you know. Bread salad, bruschetta, mm -hmm. you know, it's the wonderfulness of, of what's coming. And again, you know, these are just little croutons. If you want to get a little bit more uh, exotic for mom, right, we can put a little bit of uh, fresh basil on top. Uh -huh. Got a little thyme there well. and some pomegranate as well. And then uh, this, this is the coup de gras right here, right? This is the, the one that's going to make coup de gras, I say, I, well, I don't know, can we not? Oh, we already said it. So well, it's sure done, that. right? Yeah. So what uh, else is on this uh, Mother's Day brunch? I'm going to put this right here. Look. Um, veal. We have a uh, Chianti poached pear to end with dessert. Very nice. And then there's a Casarici pasta with shrimp. All right. And if people want to sign up, they go to? Um, Publix.com. Go to the Jacksonville Cooking Schools. Or you call 904-262-4187. Talk to my event planners, and they'll get you registered. There you go. Mother's Day brunch with Chef Tony. What could be better? He takes care of the cooking. You enjoy mom. She has a fantastic time. Richard.